Hey guys, this is Zach, and today we're taking a look at the Nest Learning Thermostat. This is the first smart home gadget I've gotten my hands on, but boy am I excited to get it going. So, uh, spoiler alert, I uh, didn't get good audio recording before, so I'm redoing it in a voiceover. So let's see how this goes. Uh, let's start out with a little unboxing here, and then we'll move on to an install very shortly. The, this is the uh, silver version of the Nest Learning Thermostat, uh, third generation, and I'm very excited for it. The packaging itself is beautiful uh, for being a thermostat, to be honest with you. It kind of reminds me of unboxing, you know, an Apple product or a Google product. It's just set up very nicely. The only thing was this darn pull tab. I wasn't able to get right away because I don't really have nails because I'm a guy. So if you don't have nails, you're going to have a hard time getting that thing open, I learned. Right away when we get into the box, we're greeted with this beautiful thermostat, which has just the most amazing build quality I think I've ever seen or will ever see on a thermostat. It's very sturdy and the brushed uh, aluminum uh, ring is really nice as well. Don't really care about the documentation but we have this nice wall plate here. Um, that's great if you're just going straight onto the wall. Unfortunately I'm not so you'll see what, what you'll do. If you're not going directly onto the wall um, or you don't have the ability to paint we have a screwdriver included which has both a Phillips head and a flat head. This is one of the nicest screwdrivers I think anyone has ever gotten with a product to be honest with you. It's very nice and I decided to keep it for my daily tasks. Nest includes a conversion plate, this is what I was talking about earlier. So to cover up the big hole on your wall that you're going to leave, that goes over it. And then this is for your electrical box. Um, so if you're mounting to an electrical box like I will be, you will need to use this plate here. They also include some screws for whatever you need. Guys, before we get going here, it's really important that you turn off your uh, circuit breaker. Look for a breaker labeled furnace and whatever's labeled AC. It's really, really important that that gets turned off. Onto the install, we're going to be taking the old thermostat off the wall, which is pretty simple. It just kind of pops right off there. Um, and then we're going to take our included screwdriver and disconnect all of our wires. Uh, you'll see on here it's all labeled uh, for what wire corresponds to what, really. And uh, see that jumper wire in there? Yeah, you're not going to need that with the Nest. So if you have a jumper in your thermostat, do not put it back into your new Nest Learning thermostat. So the fun part now is beginning to mount the Nest to the wall. So, with your wires going through that wall plate, in my case, the back box plate, we're going to go ahead and screw it in place. Alright, and then we're going to get our uh, wires through the little hole on the nice face plate, which in my case just kind of stuck on the wall while I could get everything lined up and ready. Uh, I don't know if it does that with everybody, but if it does, that's very nice. So now we're going to take our uh, Nest backplate, which will get covered up pretty soon, but that's where all the wires go into, so we're going to get the wires through there one last time. Once we get that on the wall, we can start lining it up to uh, get it mounted. So. We're going to get a screw in place here, but make sure you use that built-in level. I've never seen a thermostat, or most products really, that has a built-in level in it. So that's super nice. Make sure your nest is straight, please, before you get it installed. Please utilize that level. It's, it's really nice to have. So now, uh, this next part can be relatively 
tricky and easy at the same time. Uh, we're going to be putting all our wires in, so you need to make sure that all the wires are straight, not bent, not turned, which they often are on old thermostats, but you're going to push down the tab it corresponds to and push it in place. Uh, everyone's is different, so you're going to need to refer to Nest website if you have any questions about that. They have a nice interactive system for it. Finally, make sure all your wires, once plugged in, are tucked back, so when we get our Nest uh, on it, which we're about to do right now, it sits flush up against the wall. So we're just going to click it right now. Click it in place and then uh, turn on the power, um, which will allow us to set up our thermostat. So we're going to start going through the setup here. Again, like I mentioned before, make sure the circuit breaker is, is off during the installation and then go flip it on after the nest is actually on the wall. Uh, you're going to set it to whatever language you speak, but I'm going to set it to English in the United States. I will get it connected to my internet, which is listed below. All right, and I'll type in my password here real quick and uh, get connected. All right, so now that it's connected, we're going to uh, it's going to check for updates. In my case, I didn't really have any updates available. So, in the meantime, it will sit here and do nothing. Connect it to your location, and I am in a single-family home. This is located in the hallway, and I am not a Nest Pro, so those are the wires I connected. Everything looks good. If you're a homeowner installing this yourself, then make sure that that fits all the wires you plugged in found that I have heating, cooling, and a fan. Lovely. And I have actually a gas furnace, so I'll go ahead and change the setting there. We use forest air in this house. Uh, some people have radiators or in-floor radiant. And the uh, temperature, it'll currently be heating because it's December and it's below freezing and there's snow on the ground and I don't know how I feel about it. I made a mistake here. Um, you should set this to be a little bit lower than what you want it to be in order to uh, be energy efficient. This is not something I did right away, and that was 100% my mistake. So make sure you set those where you want it to be when you're away, not when you're home. Alright, we're going to go through a system test here and uh, go ahead and listen to the uh, fan as it turns on. So you can hear the fans running. Overall guys, uh, the Nest is very simple to set up and um, it's a very nice product. Even though I need to get some paint taken care of off to the side, I am surprised on how well a thermostat could be built. Um, it's very functional, the app interface is great, and all the settings, everything it can do, because it is a smart thermostat. It is, you know, it's really helpful. Um, there's some workarounds you can do to get it to work with uh, Siri, which is what I did. Um, I, I just absolutely love it. And, and I like how I can kind of monitor it from away from the house and everything. So anyway, guys, this has been the Nest third generation learning thermostat. Uh, it's a very nice thermostat. Nest did a great job. And... Um, I, I think that, that uh, I need to do more smart home products, so if you have any ideas of products to review or take a look at, let me know in the comments below, and I will uh, certainly look into it, and uh, if you have any questions about the Nest, let me know as well. Until then, guys, I will see you in the next one.